morning everybody uh, you remember John you've seen him on a couple of videos before uh, we are taking our first trip into town following lockdown the shops are finally open uh, we're gonna go and see what's about see if there's any deals any bargains any any new stuff stuff that we haven't seen um, because it's been what it's a good year since we've been yeah good anywhere? yeah quite a good over oh, yeah maybe over that uh, but essential shopping absolutely back. absolutely <laughs> great to be out there so uh, so let's go see what we can find catch you in a bit first stop Disney store let's see what's in here first up got the Mandalorian troop transport this one is 48.99 at the moment so you haven't picked this one up yet do go in and check out the Disney store a couple of other bits and pieces retro collection Mandalorian set plenty of baby Yoda bottles it's pajamas just moving around got a Yoda dressing gown plenty of Funko Pops Could you be interested in that sort of thing? These are the Mandalorian sets. Hopefully we'll be getting Queel sometime soon, because otherwise I think we've got pretty much everyone else in that set confirmed. Obviously you've got the darts, nice puzzle, and more Mandalorian. So a couple more Black Series items here. Sith Jet Trooper, Hyper Real Luke Skywalker. Moving on around. Uh, some prequel coins. I know it looks like a saga set, so probably all six in there. Hyper Rail Luke Skywalker, coming down to 56. And they've also got these sort of like legends, uh, Diamond Select, that's it, Darth Maul. These are like Black Series scale. The detail in the face there, let's just try and get a better shot. Quite nice, and obviously, you've got the extended detail on the lightsabers, alternate hilts and hands and uh, deflection blast effects sort of stuff on those and just coming around here we've got some of the animated well light and sound Chewbacca's and as we come down some of the Kylo Ren's these are down to £18.20 the Darth Vader statue again diamond select quite nice that one is 31.50 down from 45 and a couple more of the Imperial Troop Transports so yeah not bad stuff at Disney certainly worth getting down here for the Troop Transport if nothing else okay just moving on to the Entertainer still got plenty of the old Last Jedi a couple of the Solo line figures as well some of the two packs you've got obviously these ones here, all pretty standard prices at the moment. And yeah, all stuff we've all seen before. 20 quid on the Lando, 15 on the vintage collection stuff, and a couple of black series at 20 pounds. Those are all the Admiral Akbar figures in there, uh, all the same one. Still got some Forces of Destiny, uh, Jin and Ray, if you need either of those. Can't see any Ahsoka, which is obviously the rarer one. Moving over, we've got again the uh, two packs, a couple of the Hot Wheels, plush toys, and what have you. Darth Tater, well, it's not Darth Tater, it's Kylo Tater, isn't it? Uh, Padme from Forces of Destiny. The Hoth Ice Planet Adventure game, the Retro Collection, 15 quid on that, it's not too bad if you haven't picked that up already. The Child Monopoly from Mandalorian. Nice jigsaw. And a couple of those pieces there. Uh, moving over again, still got some Rogue One figures priced at £3. Your standard ones there. Three quid still not bad for those if you haven't got them. The Scream Saber. And uh, just down at the bottom here, we've got the Luke and Yoda for 42 Emphasis on a speed of a 13.20. And the Rathtar for 13.20 as well. 
Those are quite decent ones, those, if you haven't got those. Uh, I think I managed to get them a little bit cheaper here, but that was a little while ago now. Okay, just got to HMV, gonna take a quick look here. Some nice vintage collection figures there, $14.99. Definitely gonna be picking up that Luke Stormtrooper, he's getting a bit expensive now. Uh, although the more Anakin Wicket are all quite nice as well. And it looks like, yep, they got an Obi-Wan back there as well. Yeah, so uh, some decent stuff there. Uh, looking at more Yoda Monopoly, Baby Yoda. Uh, a couple of other bits and pieces. And just moving down. I get Funko Pops. Oh, nice Mandalorian pajamas. Just what you need. Just what you need. And meanwhile, in the depths of the store, we do have a little bit more in the way of Star Wars stuff. Uh, bits and pieces. None of this particularly exciting. Um, just moving around. Oh, we do have the carbon freeze chamber, about 50 quid on that one. Uh, I think I said before the actual set possibly a little overpriced for that, but I still think it's an excellent set uh, and worth picking up for a little bit less than that if you can. But uh, yeah, not, not too bad. Not too bad stuff in HMV. One, two... Forbidden Planet. Just in Forbidden Planet now. Have a look, see what they've got. Plenty of Funkos. Keywings, some Tchotchkes. Got a couple of Black Series helmets in. Uh, Luke and Stormtrooper, both 100 on those. Lego kits. Nice snow speeder. Uh, plenty of Yoda and Baby Yoda bits and pieces. Also got the Celebrate the Saga set and looks to be a cookie jar Stormtrooper helmet. Uh, moving on to the Black Series 40th. Got the usual suspects here. Uh, some very nice figures in that set. A couple of carbonised figures. Clone Trooper. Again, some of the repack wave, not too bad. Uh, got the Star Wars Retro Collection there, ranging from 8 quid to a tenner, all along the bottom. I've got the Resistance figures, that's the first time I've actually seen those in person, down to a fiver, not too bad. More Vintage Collection stuff. There's Hondo, and Jawa, Darth Vader, Shirut. Some reasonable prices on these actually. Uh, Din Djarin. <laughs> Heavy Mando, this credit collection stuff. Cara Dune still there, $24.99. Anyone interested? Uh, so looking at the Black Series, obviously got plenty of Mandalorian bits and pieces. Coming down the... Yeah, those Holiday Troopers clearly doing really well. Really weird. <laughs> um, onto some of the new packaging Black Series. Very nice figures in that lot. And down again onto these. Prices ranging from about $14.99 to, oh, to 20 quid. Uh, Mandalorian Monopoly set. Nice little skiff pack there. Just coming up to the going great. It's good to see that we're getting these in TBC now. Sort of carbonised stuff. Shock troop on the end. Oh, quite nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All these ones, obviously, the six-inch scale of the uh, figures just revealed in vintage collection. Plenty of uh, Jedi. There's Darth Nail on the end. Probe droid, obviously, does very well. Anakin, Zori Bliss. Jennifer a fiver there, that's not too bad going. Ray. A couple of other figures on the bottom there. Just moving on finally to the archive line. Luke, Yehan, 
Bosk. And Luke X and Pollard there, 14 quid. That's pretty good going. Not bad at all. Just moving quickly over to some of the sale items. There is the Luke Yavin for a tenner there. Uh, Fourth link set that's been hanging around for a while there at 20 quid. And down here we've got the carbon freezing chamber at 44. Moloch, Dryden Voss and DJ, all about various different prices in that. A couple of items just down there. Just over to Forbidden Planet now. And look to be fairly fully stocked on the vintage collection. Uh, not too many prices on to see what we've actually got. Um, where are we? So plenty of the Black Series 40th, pretty much all of them in stock. About 20 quid on those. So this is um, Worlds Apart in Birmingham. Um, nostalgia and comics as it used to be. Uh, it's a couple of the retro figures, a couple of the carbonised. Um, just have a quick look at these. <laughs> so, Commander Wolf, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin. Quite a few of the repack figures in here. Uh, you having a loop in there? Ooh. And you're looking at about 15 to 17 quid. Varies across all of these, but uh, yeah, different selection to what was in Forbidden. Not too bad. Taking a look over to last bit of vintage and black series. So Mandalorian troop transport in at 80 quid on that one. The Galaxy's Edge and Gaming Greats on the black series, looking about 25, 20 quid on some of the other ones, varying in between. Dr. Aphra set at the back. Just moving down into some of the new packaging, the Deluxe Jar Jar, the Sith Ray, Hoth Trooper, Clone Trooper. That hand layer and Luke Endor set. The Rebels figures, some more of the gaming greats. A couple of the archive wave as well. Plenty of options in there for you. And just to finish it off, swift trip to Smith's. So just in Smith's now, gonna see what they've got here. Uh, vintage collection, Anakin. Peasants, that's the repack wave. Uh, Captain Rex at the back there. Uh, plenty of Anakin if you wanted that one. There's the 40th TIE Pilots. Oh, we've got a Din Djarin in there. Uh, got the Carbonized Death Trooper. Plenty more of the 40th figures. Those are all 20, 20 quid. Got those old Han Solo ones. Black Series Wave, then 20 quid. 20 quid on those. Plenty of these Mission Fleet, and there's that set there again. Yoda, Scream Saber again. I'm just panning up to the top, we've got more of the Mission Fleet stuff all the way, and a rather sneaky Santa V play set up the very top there. So. That's what's in Smith's, not too bad at all. And uh, yeah. Well, uh, toy run complete. And, uh, shattered. Yeah, yeah, absolutely <laughs> shattered. Absolutely shattered. Uh, I think we, well, we started about nine o'clock on the first shop, was it? Yeah, nine o'clock. And what time is it now about? Just after three. Just after three. So yeah, six hours, blooming heck. Um, so yeah, been through, been through all of the, the usual suspects of uh, different places to go to. And I've got to say, there have been some absolute bargains. We've we've done really well. Some of it a bit of luck. Some mm -hmm. of it we've gone rummaging through, but we, we we've done well. I think between us, we've we've yeah. found some really good stuff at some good, nothing full price. No, which is nice. Yeah, um, which was always a bonus to come away with. But uh, I think it's it's one of those that the it's amazing how much I've missed doing doing a toy run and oh, getting God, out yeah. there. Um, the adrenaline definitely kicked in from well, a couple of things, isn't it? It's, it's, it's from being out, uh, being out of the house, which is nice. Uh, obviously, being on the hunt for stuff. And the hunt, the thrill of the hunt again. Yeah, and um, then and then actually finding finding yeah, stuff as well. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Um, and finding finding stuff, finding good stuff that we like 
at a, a, even better at amazing prices. So, uh, so yeah, um, really, really good uh, day um, on the hunt, and I think uh, I'll I'll come back in a minute and we'll go go over what uh, what I've picked up. Day a success though, I would say, really good oh, day. Absolutely, yeah, good to be back. Good to be back. So. We are home and very happy. Uh, amazing day, and this is what I have picked up. So, first off, Mandalorian Imperial Troop Transport, $48.99, uh, down from, what was it, 70 quid originally? So, very pleased with that. Uh, Luke and Obi-Wan, these were from HMV, both priced $14.99, but actually on sale for $11.99, so very, very pleased with that. Uh, also got Wicket from uh, HMV as well. Rex there was $14.99 in Smith's. So, yeah, pretty much standard retail for him. And then over here from Forbidden Planet, $11.99 on the Clone Trooper, $10.99 on Chirrut, and $10.99 on Hondo. So, all in all, uh, spent a little over 100 quid there, but got some amazing deals on these figures. The only one that I've paid full retail for there is the Captain Rex. Um, so yeah, absolutely thrilled with this. Had an amazing day. I, I, it's just been absolutely great to get out there, go on the hunt for things, and find things I wasn't expecting to find. I was not expecting to see Luke on shelf, let alone pick him up for eleven ninety nine. Absolute bargain there on that one. So, uh, so yeah, just really, really pleased with it. Um, if you get a chance. Get out there and and actually see what's at retail for for a change. Uh, it's been it's been great uh, the job that the the online retailers have done for us recently over lockdown and what have you. But to actually get out there and and pick some stuff up has been amazing. So yeah, hope you've all enjoyed this. Um, go out there and play with your joys.